What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, PS Edition, I am Alex. In this video, I want to discuss the fact that Mafia 4, its announcement, is coming very, very soon. Now, this was part of an earnings call um, from Take-Two, and basically, they actually talked about quite a few things in this earnings call, one of which being that Bioshock is still years away, don't expect this game for a long, long time, which is a completely different discussion I may also have on Podcast Now over the next week, but big news of Mafia 4. Now, they didn't say it. They didn't specifically say, hey, it's Mafia 4, because remember, they have to lie to us. They have to keep things from us. Uh, they said, though, Hangar 13, that development studio, we will find out the new game they're working on uh, in the coming months. And we know from, basically, it's one of the worst kept secrets in gaming that they are making the next installment of Mafia, uh, rumored to be set in Las Vegas, rumored to be over a couple decades, where there's going to be lots of you know progression. You're going to be able to buy up business and earn revenue and lots of different really cool sounding stuff we did a whole video on podcast now where we talked about what is ba what could come to mafia 4 and it seems pretty darn interesting like i'm excited to see what it could actually be now over the coming months that's a you know that's not a specific enough for me time frame i mean i feel like E3 is getting, you know, ever so close, right? We're getting ever so close uh, to E3, only four months away. So could very well be around E3 time. We would, uh, I think, fully expect Mafia 4 to be a next-gen title. But what's exciting is that it's moving, like, relatively fast. I mean, Take-Two in general. Now, besides Bioshock, I guess, right? Because they announced Bioshock kind of in just, like, a kind, you know, tip-of-the-hat gesture saying, hey... We know there's been a lot of talk, we know there's been a lot of rumors, and they never said that, but like, I mean, come on, like, there were so many people talking about it, and they come out and they say, okay, we are making a Bioshock game, that's it, we're not going to tell you what it is, we're not going to tell you if it's a prequel, a sequel, a reboot, whatever, it's coming years away, don't expect to see it, that's it. And you know what? That satisfied a lot of people. Now, besides that, generally, they like to announce their games and then they release. Like, relative, I mean, these are the, Take Two is the publisher of, of the Rockstar, all that kind of stuff. So, this is Red Dead, this is GTA, this is Bioshock, this is all of that kind of stuff underneath them. And, you know, historically, they like to do that. They like to announce it. Look what they did with Red Dead 2, look what they did with GTA 5. They announce it and it comes out four or five months later. So the fact that Mafia 4 is, is going to get announced relatively soon is very good. I mean, he's at the, I think at the worst, this is like a spring 2021 game. I really do think, in fact, that's kind of where I put my prediction. I don't know if it would release this fall. Although, you know, you look at Take Two and you say, well, I think just in general, you look at any publisher and you say, like, where are they going to stand when it comes to next generation? So next generation comes out this fall and, like, which publishers are going to jump right in and have a game come out, whether it be cross-gen or just next-gen by itself, which ones are going to throw their hat in like that? You know, Because you don't have to. Say next-gen comes out in early November, it's only like one month you're going to be able to fit in your game. If it's exclusive, even if it's cross-gen, say it comes out in October, you're only going to have a couple months at most, like two to two and a half months, and then it gets to Christmas, and then obviously then we're into the new year. I think Jan late January and through February, like February and March next year, I feel like are going to be absolutely insane but it's like where do you put out like where do you jump into the next generation uh, bandwagon basically and and do you do it with multiple games you do it with one take two people have been saying for a very long time whether it's bully two or whether it's gta 6 like one of those games people have thrown around gta 6 is like closer to completion than we all think could release this fall who knows stuff like that so with that kind of stuff being said it's like well, then they have a hat in the in the next gen race, right? They've thrown in their hat, and it's they're gonna put GTA Six out there, and it'll be cross gen, whatever, right? I but that's just a, you know that's just speculation. What if they don't? What if Mafia Four is that game? So I know this has kind of become a predictions video, but but I like that honestly. I think that the fact that this is coming or this the announcement for this game is coming in just a few months, either. It releases insanely soon after they announce it. So again, it comes out like this fall. Or even if they they announce it, not necessarily prematurely, but they say, still got a little bit of work. We still got maybe around a year left coming out next spring. That's very exciting because, I mean, that's a Mafia game coming extremely, extremely soon in the next gen. And hey, I haven't been the... I mean, I'm not... Here's the deal with me. I'm not the biggest Mafia fan in the world. We talked about that in podcast now. I had seen the love for Mafia 2. I actually bought Mafia 3 day one, played it just... 
I didn't hate it, but I didn't enjoy it either. Like, it really didn't have anything that captured it. I felt like it was just an inferior product, uh, product to a lot of other open world games. And even now, as I've played even more open world games, it's like, it's definitely not something that I would enjoy now either. But... I'm still excited. For, I mean, from what I've heard of Mafia 4, it sounds very, very cool. I'm very excited to at least see it. Whether or not I actually buy it day one, you know, they'll have to, honestly, they will have to sell it to me. Uh, but I'm definitely interested to see it, and it sounds like we're going to get it very, very soon. I feel like E3, E3 at the latest, although it could very well just happen in one of these months. They don't have to wait till E3. It could possibly be, we've always heard about the PS5 reveal event, and we've heard that third-party you know, developers are going to be there. So maybe PS5 does the reveal event, and then they have Hangar 13, and they announce a Mafia game, right? Not exclusive to PlayStation, but that's just a spot where it could be. So there are definitely possibilities out there over the next couple months we'll just have to wait and see but guys let me know in the comments below what do you think about mafia 4 are you excited for it do you want me to cover it more on this channel i could definitely do that as we get closer uh, to its announcement and when it actually gets announced but let me know in the comments below make sure you guys are subscribed to this youtube channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up and we have a video go up every single day on this channel so i hope to see you guys on tomorrow